Cleaning and freeing up your Gmail storage is very easy. In this video, I will show you in 5 simple steps how to free up your storage and go from this to this. Now let's get started. Step 1. Delete large attachments. First, let's tackle those large attachments that take up a lot of space. Open Gmail and in the search bar, type or enter this as colon attachment space larger colon 10m and hit enter. These will show all the emails with attachments larger than 10 megabytes. That includes attachments like images, videos, PDFs, zip files and so on. Or click the search options icon on the far right in the search bar. In the menu that pops up, check the ask attachment checkbox. And in the size box, enter a number like 5. Then click search. And this will load all messages with attachments larger than 5 megabytes. So if you want 4 megabytes, enter 4, you can enter 3, 2 and so on. Now go through the search results and delete any emails with attachments that you no longer need. Don't forget to empty your trash to permanently delete them and free up space. Step 2. Delete old emails. Next step is to go through your inbox and delete old emails that you no longer need. To delete very old emails, select all your emails and sort it from the oldest to newest. Over your mouse cursor, over the message count at the top right corner of your inbox and then in the menu that pops up, select oldest. And this will sort your email so that the oldest messages appear at the top of your inbox. As you can see, mine has emails from as far back as 2010 and those emails need to go. Check this box to select all the emails on the page and click the delete button to delete the emails. Continue to make your way through, deleting anything you don't need anymore. You can also use filters to do this in bulk. Using filters can help you identify and delete old emails efficiently. To create a filter, click on the settings gear icon at the top and select see all settings. Go to the filters and block addresses tab and click on create a new filter. In the ask the words field, type something like older underscore than colon 3y to find emails older than 3 years. Add any number to display emails older than the specified time frame. Then click create filter and then from the actions choose delete it and then apply the filter and any emails older than the specified time frame will be deleted automatically. And don't forget to empty your trash to permanently delete them and free up space. Step 3. Clean up your send folder. Now let's clean up your send folder. Open your send folder, click on send in the left hand menu, then sort your sent emails by date or size and delete anyone that you don't need anymore. If you don't need any of this, check this at the top and delete and do so for the others until they are all deleted. Again, empty your trash to free up storage. Step 4. Unsubscribe from unwanted newsletters. This is probably one of the reasons why email inboxes get filled up quickly. Unsubscribing from unwanted newsletters can help you reduce the number of incoming emails. Use the search bar to find all the emails you are subscribed to. Type unsubscribe in the search bar to find all your subscription emails. Now open each email and click the unsubscribe link. Then delete the email. Do so for the rest and don't forget to empty your trash. You won't get any more messages from these emails. Lastly, step 5. Use Google One Storage Manager. The Google One Storage Management tool helps you manage your Google account storage across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. Gmail shares the same 15GB storage space with Google Drive and Google Photos, so cleaning up your Google Drive and Google Photos is also crucial. Go to one.google.com slash storage slash management to access Google One Storage Manager. You will see the spaces used by each Google product like Photos, Google Drive, and Gmail. Use the tools to review and delete last files, spam and trash in Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. Click on Review and click Delete All. Then let's clean up Google Drive. Click on Google Drive and this will load all the large Google Drive files. Now select all the files you don't want anymore. You can select up to 100 files at a time. And then once you've selected all the files, click delete and delete permanently. Here you can see the size that you are going to gain back. This is 8 gig of storage space that you can gain back. Select more files and then click delete. 
and delete permanently. Now go to Gmail and let's delete all the large files that we have missed. Once you're done with that, let's go to Google Photos and let's delete all the files that we don't need anymore. Now after applying all the five steps, the account storage full notification is gone as you can see and now I have lots of space to add more files and I can get more emails without that notification. You can check your available storage space in Gmail by going to settings, click on the G icon, then select the see all settings, then select accounts and imports and scroll down then you'll see the add additional storage section and now you can see your available storage space. You can also see that in Google Drive, this was before and now after freeing up storage space, this notification banner is gone. If you also go to Google One Storage Manager, you can see the use space and the available storage space. With these simple steps, you can free up storage space in your Gmail account in just a few minutes. Click to watch other related videos below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.